Hello and welcome back to ICS 100. Um, we're moving forward and we're going to be looking at, you know, company networks and a little bit about the internet and your browser and everything. So, you know, it's important to understand some of these concepts because they do help protect you um, online as well as understanding, you know, when you're working for a company, what, you know, what the company has legal rights to do and everything. So, um, you know, let's jump into the slides and look at this. So company network. So, you know, when you're working for a company, they actually have the ability to monitor your activity. Um, if you think about it, you know, the company does own um, the computer that you're using. They also own the network that you're using to access the internet. And as well, um, you know, any of the other servers, such as like the email server and things like that, um, you know, they do own the rights to these, they own them. So it's their property. So, you know, they can monitor, they can monitor your activity um, as well. You know, they are paying you to work. So sometimes the company wants to, you know, monitor you because of, you know, they're paying you to work and they want to see, are you actually working or are you off doing something else such as playing, you know, um, Angry Birds or, you know, like, are you on Facebook? Are you, checking your personal email, you know, are you doing um, work that's not associated with the company? So, you know, they might be able to monitor you and as well. So keep that in mind that, you know, when you're using a computer that's on a company network, you know, what you're doing might be being, um, you know, tracked and monitored. So you might not actually have, you know, that full um, privacy that you're expecting to have within, um, you know, the company network. So let's jump in and see, you know, a little bit more about why do companies actually go about doing this. So great, they want, as I kind of mentioned, and they want to track employee performance. Are you doing the job that they're paying you to do? You know, maybe, you know, you're thinking you're getting away with it and, you know, you're able to check your personal email and, you know, you're on Facebook and everything. You know, the company might be monitoring you. And then when you come up for, you know, a contract renewal or, you know, a uh, performance evaluation, you know, they might be like, well, look at like, you know, we're paying you to work 40 hours a week, but you know, you really only work 20 hours a week. So why should we be, you know, renewing your contract and everything? So keep that in mind that, you know, companies might be tracking you and using this for your personal evaluation to see, are you really worth it for the company? Um, as well, if we look at the next bullet point, companies can do this as well to um, avoid legal liability because, you know, you might be doing something that the company doesn't allow you to do. So keep that in mind that they could be looking at you to avoid different legal um, liability saying, hey, you know, like he, they were doing this on our network. We don't, um, you know, allow this. They did it on their own as well. So keep that in mind um, that they might be doing it to avoid legal liability. If we jump back in and look at the next bullet point, um, you know, they might do it to protect trade secrets as well. Um, you know, because of, you know, within the company, you might be able to send out, you know, these trade secrets that they have on there. And you don't want, they don't want you to send them out to someone else, um, another company. So they might be doing it to protect the trade secrets and, you know, their intellectual property that the company owns. And if we jump back in, um, you know, let's look at the last bullet point. You know, they can do it because, you know, it can have a negative impact. You could be doing things that, you know, the company doesn't sanction and, you know, things that could harm the company as well. So they do it to make sure that, you know, when the employees are using the corporate network, that the employees are doing what's best for the company. Um, so hopefully this kind of gives you a clear sense of, you know, what capabilities that companies have and everything. So if we jump back in, you know, we're going to look at another um, key term as well. So let's jump back into the slides. And so this is the, the illusion of anonymity. And, um, you know, basically think, you know, people are not concerned about privacy when they're using the, the internet. So, you know, people don't care as much about their privacy when they're using the internet. They think, oh, I'm using the internet, you know, like people won't know who, I'm at, who I am. Um, you know, so people also think that if I use a fake name, you know, I'll be anonymous. People won't be able to track me, figure out who I am. Um, but be aware, you can still be tracked and found. Um, here's a website that I want to visit and show you. And this kind of shows you, you know, a little bit about um, tracking you and looking at your browser. So I'm going to go to this website. 
and show you, you know, a little bit about how your browser, the fingerprint of your browser is. So, you know, this is showing you how unique and how trackable is your browser. So your browser has a fingerprint. And so we can click this test me button and uh, we can go and see that, you know, um, your browser fingerprint appears to be unique among the, you know, 5 million people tested so far. So you can kind of look and see, you know, about your browser's fingerprint and how unique you really are. Um, and, you know, your browser, the, this gives you more information so you can see that it's looking at the information about your browser and your fingerprint. So the different plugins that you have, you know, it's going to change the way your browser's fingerprint is. Um, and you can see this is a long one about Java right here on the screen. So let me scroll down to the end um, of it. And, you know, so you can look and see, you know, this is a great website to go and look and see how unique, you know, your browser is because the more unique it is, the harder it's going to be for you to be tracked online. And, you know, they're not going to be able to figure out your identity as easily. But be aware, you know, based on your browser fingerprint, you could possibly be, um, you know, tracked as well. So if we jump back into the slides, um, and the next item we're going to look at is our history file. And you can see here, um, you know, here's a screenshot of my, my browser. And you could kind of see you know, that I have some recent um, items, you know, viewable under my history. And so, you know, you might actually want to go and um, clear this because it does contain locations of addresses, you know, that you visited. So, you know, this is way, a way people can go and see what your activity online is. As well, you know, you kind of think of this, it's a trail that's left on your computer. People can look at this and see where you've been and what sites you're visiting. So, you know, your history file is probably something you want to look at and clear, you know, and you can actually go and set it to automatically clear it if you wish, though, you know, be aware that you might not want to do this, but you might want to clear it, you know, once a week or so, um, because it is leaving a trail um, on your computer that people can follow. So, you know, people can see what, where you go online. So, you know, if you're browsing different content, people can track you. So if you look at this website, you can kind of see different um, websites that I've used. You can see that I've been to Google, um, Facebook, ESPN, and I've even logged into my email, which we can also see based on, um, you know, the background image there. So, you know, you can see where people are online and different websites that they're visiting. Um, you can clear your history. So you could see um, in the drop down menu, uh, the second item does say clear history. So you can remove it if you wish. So, you know, it's a great idea, as I said, to make sure you clear your history. Um, kind of remove those breadcrumbs that are left on your system so people don't know where you're visiting and what websites you're using as well. Um, so do keep that in mind. Another item that you should be aware of are your temporary internet files. So let's jump back into the slides and look at these a little bit. So your temporary internet files, you can see in this screenshot, um, you know, I'm providing you um, the location of where you can clear them and remove them. So do keep it in mind that you can remove them. Um, and these are basically files that are saved on your computer from websites that you visit. So, you know, when you log into a website, it will set, um, you know, a cookie as an example that might be stored or, you know, different image files and things might be stored on your system. Um, and the reason they do this is, you know, they're trying to help increase their performance of how fast the page loads. So they're storing these temporary files and the reason they're doing so is, you know, they're only going to upload new content. So anything that's changed. So if that image hasn't changed, you know, they're not going to upload it. So keep that in mind that, um, you know, they're not going to send it to you if the image hasn't changed. So they're only going to update new content um, for you to view. So it's a way of, you know, saving bandwidth and everything as well. Um, also, if we look at it, you know, they are called temporary internet files, but if we jump back into the slides, we'll see a little bit about these as well. That even though the name is temporary internet files, they're not really temporary as the name suggests. You know, once they're saved on your computer, once they're the server, the website that you're visiting puts them on your system, they're there until you remove them. So you must manually remove them. Um, and you can see in the screenshot, 
you know, of my browser where you, how you can get to them. So this is under your preference as well under advanced. So you can manually remove them. Um, and you know, if you have privacy concerns as anyone, you know, can view what websites in your temporary internet files have, um, you know, are available. So, you know, it's a good idea to go and clean out your temporary internet files as well, because also think in mind that, you know, they're not really temporary. They are being permanently stored on your system until you manually remove them. So again, you know, recall that, you know, companies can monitor your activity. Um, you know, you can be tracked online. You're not always as anonymous as you think. And, you know, worry about your history and your temporary internet files. So thanks, and we'll see you next time.